Hello, ideal boys and girls. Welcome to today's lesson with Miss Young. Today, we're going to go over using runners as a strategy for reading. Now, let's get right into it. R says, read the title and questions and then circle. Right here, I have our passage and the title is excerpt from about animals. That's the title. Now, when I read my title, it says about animals. So I'm thinking about animals has to be informational text. So I did my R. U says underline important words in the question. That's right, questions. Now I'm here at my questions and it says, what is the main idea of the entire passage? I have to underline important keywords in my question. First, I'm looking at my question word, which is what. They want to know what. They want to know the main idea of the entire passage. Entire means all of the passage. So what is the main idea of the entire passage? Number two says what. That's my question word. I'm going to box it in. Details tell more about the main idea. What details tell more about the main idea? So I've done my U. Now I go to my N, which is number the paragraphs. Luckily, in this, we only have one paragraph, so I'm going to go ahead and do number one. One paragraph. Now it says, read carefully. Write Read carefully above the passage. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write to remind myself to read carefully, which is also annotating or snots, small notes on the side. In this case, small notes on the top. So I'm going to write, read carefully. And this is to help me read carefully. And then... We're going to read because it says, now read. You can always tell a turtle by its shell. A box turtle has high round shell that can close up like a box. A map turtle has a wide flat shell with bumpy edges. A soft shell turtle's shell looks like a green pancake. I've read my passage. Now we're going to eliminate wrong answers by crossing them out. We don't have the multiple choices here, but in that case, you will go back to your questions and strike out those answers that are totally incorrect and try to select the best answer. Remember, R, reread. If you aren't sure about an answer, or if you think two answers might be correct, go back and reread. Then you select the best answer. Now my question was, what is the main idea of the entire passage? I'm going a little bit into main idea, which is not a part of runners, but just for today. Main idea is the most important point in the text. What is the most important thing the author wants you to know? Now let's look at the sentences. Sentence number one, it stops right here. You can always tell a turtle by its shell. Number two, a box turtle has high round shell that can close up like a box. Sentence number three, a map turtle has a wide flat shell with bumpy edges. Number four, a soft shell turtle shell looks like a green pancake. What is the most important thing the author wants you to know? One is the main idea. Everything else are details that support the main idea. So in looking at my sentences, I'm looking which sentence tells me mostly about what the paragraph is saying. And to me, it's sentence number one. You can always tell a turtle by its shell. Why? Because a box turtle has a high round shell that can close up like a box. So if you see that, you know it's a box turtle. 
A map turtle has a wide flat shell with bumpy edges and a soft shell turtle shell look like a green pancake. That's it for runners today, boys and girls. See you next time.